Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Whatever time you're checking us out, thank you for checking us out. This is, of course, King Petty Chronicles, where we can talk about anything and everything. It has been a while, y'all. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. So, you know, it's been, I haven't done a King Petty Chronicles since last year. Um, there's a lot of things going on. As, as you can see, my background is different. I have moved. So, you know, they've um, been dealing with that right now. Things are looking good right now. Quarantine, still in quarantine. First, about to enter year one. I mean, year one is almost done. About to enter year two. And, you know, 2021 has kicked off with just as much fire. I mean, y'all been here. It's, it's The Capitol riots were crazy. Um, you know, the Gorilla Glue Girl. And it's only February. And so I'm just going to do a little quick recap on some things. Uh, recently, uh, if you haven't heard, Tiger Woods was in a car accident. Um, a single rollover. Uh, they used the Jaws of Life to get him out. Um the the person the officer who responded to the scene uh stated that tiger didn't know uh, how badly he was injured at the time i guess he was a little loopy who can imagine uh the street that he got uh his accident on is actually known to be a dangerous street and there have been lawsuits against this street in the past uh so what it could look like it's coming down to is uh it's in the jurisdiction of two different cities so the cities could be held liable for this and we're gonna uh, you know prayers up to tiger woods and for a speedy recovery he has an open fracture on his right leg um so you know just hoping that he has a speedy recovery and, and a full recovery more than speedy that he gets all his mobility back he wants to do you know and get back out there and play golf um, in other sports news, you know, what's not really news, but Tom Brady winning the Super Bowl again, you know, I didn't want it to happen because he wasn't a Patriot fan. You guys know, if you watch my last videos, I wanted, I wanted him, I wished him the best, but I didn't want him to succeed. I didn't want him to pull the Wes Welker who left New England to prove that he could do it without us and then did it without us. I mean, you, you did it. Big ups to you. I'm, I'm still a Tom Brady fan. I'm a little salty because the Patriots didn't even make it to the playoffs, but you know, I respect Tom. This is Super Bowl win number seven. Super Bowl appearance number 10. My man is 70% in the Super Bowl. He has a Super Bowl record that is better than some teams' regular season record. And the just the pettiness of him will continue. I mean, I don't know what else he's going to do. He's going to start coaching, you know, and playing next season, I guess. Uh, signing whoever he wants. They're pretty much giving him free reign down there. And I, I respect it. Uh, when he came and brought you guys out the mud and brought you back to the Super Bowl since you guys haven't been in, in forever, let's just say that. Um, but, you know, uh, he was drunk at the, the parade. That was hilarious. Um, you know, and it, it became viral that he was drunk. The Red Sox had opening day. One of their players was wearing a picture of him drunk on there. And, you know, Tom doesn't drink alcohol. So for him to be drinking and drunk on a boat, it's it's hilarious to me. Uh, the 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 lady of the family of the Lombardi Trophy was a little upset at him passing the, the trophy around on the boat, and you know was demanding a public apology and all this. And I was saying, you know, why didn't you? She never. I don't. I don't remember her saying anything like that when when Gronk used it as a bat last year and you know dented it with a baseball. But you know, everybody loves to hate the Brady. So, but you know, Mahomes, he did his thing. They, they couldn't hang on. I, but I do not take that from Mahomes. My man was doing impossible things. Uh, and he just couldn't, they just couldn't get it together. I mean, my man was diving full on out and, and throwing the ball 30 yards. And it was exactly on point. Like, Tom could not have done that pass. Like, let alone complete it, incomplete. He couldn't have, it wouldn't have gone that far. He's not that athletic. He's he's athletic, but he's not like that. Mahomes is, is still a phenomenal player. I don't take anything from him. Congratulations on the birth of, the, of his child that they just had. Um, so what else I've noticed, I actually just heard about this today, is that Twitter will actually be allowing super followers now. Um, it's going to be this, you know, you can now charge people to follow you um, and, you know, they can get exclusive content. A lot of people, you know, it, it immediately screams kind of only fans ish um, and that's what a lot of people were trying to give it that bad connotation, but Twitter doesn't already Twitter doesn't have that connotation at it already. Twitter is what it is, and if you add something like this to it, I feel like it is only going to grow. Like imagine super followers of Rihanna that 
she, you know, for super followers, they give out discount codes and merchandise and a week early on new Fenty products, the super followers get the product able to like on pre-sale and with a discount code before regular people even get it. Like the, the possibilities for this, um, I really feel can grow. Imagine a concert for super followers only. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get me some of that Twitter stock today uh, before it jumps up because I do feel like this is a positive move for them. And I do feel like they can go ahead and take this and grow and use it to grow their business and expand in a way that it hasn't gone before. It's just going to open a lot of doors for them. So if you if you haven't heard about it, check it out. I mean, I really think that this is going to be something that uh, plays in their benefit, not in, not to the detriment of the company. Um, and finally, if you have been watching my channel, I know you've been noticing there's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Call of Duty videos. Um, I've been getting back into my game, my gaming and my streaming. I am on Twitch several times a week now. Um, I have not put my official schedule on there yet because I'm still spontaneous about when I get on. It is several times a week. I do mainly get on around 10, but I don't have my day set in stone. So but i really appreciate everybody who has started following me uh, i do plan on heavily investing in my streaming platform this season um this season this year 2021 i do i'm investing in me um i'm going to be getting my youtube channel up to up to par uh, i'm going to be getting my twitch channel up to par and i'm going to be focusing on my interaction and interacting more with my followers and my subscribers um, please like, follow, subscribe, uh, turn on that notifications. Um, I do appreciate everybody who has been with me on this journey. I pray that you continue to be with me and support me in this. I'm just, I got big plans and I want y'all to be there for me. Uh, you know, be there for me, be there with me, ride along with me. If you have any suggestions, if you have any requests on Twitch, you want me, if you want to see me play a game, if you want to play a game with me, drop your Twitch in the comments, drop your, your um, PlayStation Network in the comments, all of that. I'm, I'm down to play with anybody, everybody, doesn't matter. But thank you all for tuning in to this King Petty Chronicles. Welcome to 2021. I hope it's a magical one for everybody. Thanks. One.